hitting the hundred first. Mail a call. Watson. Smith. <laughs> yes. She wrote me again. I don't have nothing for you. Fellas, I got another one from Susie. Ah, oh, she's gorgeous. Her letters are the best. Man, she writes him like every week. It's ridiculous. I wish I'd get a letter from my girl one day. I hope that my love can give you the strength to survive the hell that you're in right now. I can't imagine what you're going through. Just know that I'm waiting for you faithfully until that day that you come home and make me your wife. I'll always love you. Susie. Kid. Can't let him get the best of us. Mm. First soda pop and a hamburger. When's the last time you had a hamburger? You miss everything back home, man. Speaking of missing. You know what I miss? You want to hear what I miss? I miss the sound and the smell of my dad cooking breakfast on Saturday morning. He used to play Beethoven when he was making the bacon. Never knew why. I miss the smell of my girlfriend's hair. No matter what, it always smelled like roses. I'd give anything to see my grandmother one more time before she passes. She wasn't well when I left. Check me. Look alive, kid. I am alive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Not losing again. Pays to be a winner, boys. Me. Learn how to play chess. What can I tell you? And I got him like this. That's still not as swell as that crowd I killed with the shovel. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Killing's not a joke. Uh, the crowds are coming now. Everybody, get your gear and get outside. News of the world. Korea invaded. American soldiers hiking their way through the sweaty jungles of South Vietnam. The United States makes it to Baghdad in just three days. And as of 8 a.m. this morning, the United States has toppled the Taliban regime. Once again, the United States topples Saddam's forces in record time. Authorities within the military are questioning the mental stability of post-9-11 veterans. Malcolm! Polinsky, your dog died. Mendez, your wife cheated, congratulations. Flores, Flores, fuck you too, Flores. Nothing. Are you adopted? John, did you really think that you could fuck my best friend without me finding out? You're a fucking retard. You're just as stupid as your white trash mother. Bro, you gotta get that shit up, man. I'm falling out here. And you'll never be any better, you fucking hick. Holy shit, what did you do to this chick? I don't fucking know, bro. It's my cousin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what I miss? I miss the smell of that strip club outside Fort Bragg at 1000 on a Tuesday. I miss the taste of a stripper's pussy when she just got done working a double. Mm. I miss beating off without the smell of shit and cheese dick. <laughs> Man, I would give anything for Lisa Ann just to sit on my face and let me suck out a fart from her ass. Oh, I'll wait for Lisa Ann. You can have me right now. You want to slay bodies? You want to slay bodies? You guys are fucking tools. If you let him get that close, you fucked up. Call me when you need close air support. Hey, brother. We can roll right now. I'll show you how a real warrior wins wars. Thanks. I'm good. Beat it, fly boy. <laughs> oh, damn. That was good. Look at that thing. Oh, magnificent. Wah fucking la. On your mark, get set, 
Turn on vet TV, bitch. I'm doing the best I can, Staff Sergeant. Everything they say about you is true, Wagner. Staff Sergeant, there's nothing else I can. <laughs> Wait a minute, there it is. I catch you looking at it, it's going in your mouth. <laughs> That's that, bitches. Looks like we're here to stay. No one will deny that post 9-11 veterans are different from other generations of warriors. We're bloodthirsty, perverted, offensive, cocky, and irreverent because we spent the last 15 years dominating the battlefield and laughing as we did it. Despite what civilians in Hollywood wants you to believe, post 9-11 veterans are not always respectful, honorable, nor professional. As a matter of fact, most of us can't go 15 seconds without saying the word fuck. Most of us are not really into monogamy. We all act so gay that our dads are constantly on edge. And we equate the emotional thrill of killing to sex. The only films that have ever really captured our sick humor are Generation Kill and Range 15. And we all laughed our asses off. Well, imagine that same sick sense of humor in the form of a show about military life streamed to your phone, tablet, or computer once a week. That's what we're making. Vet TV is a streaming television network that functions exactly like Hulu or Netflix, except that it's filled with all the shows that you've been joking about with your buddies for years. Imagine The Office set in a Marine Air Wing, Parks and Rec set in an Army motor pool, Friends on a Navy ship, or The Real World set in a grunt patrol base in Afghanistan. Or imagine The Chappelle Show and the Saturday Night Live of the military. These shows allow us to reminisce on the most wild adventure of our lives, from the admin office to the battlefield, from the barracks to the strip club, from the first day at boot camp to today. Now, in order to fill up this network with the shows that you want to see, we need your donation and your vote. Vet TV is the first ever interactive TV network that allows you, the subscriber, to vote on the shows that get produced next. Our baseline goal is $250,000, which will enable us to create four months worth of shows. The long-term vision is one show for every MOS in every branch of the military. But that's just the bare minimum. If we hit our stretch goals, we can start the network off with more of the shows that you love from the people you love to see. Rudy Reyes from Generation Kill. Drew Hernandez from A Combat Veteran. First Sergeant from Grunt Style. As yet another reward for your donation to this campaign, you get 10% off all of the businesses that we're partnered with. Whether it's beer, sports, movies, porn hub, titty bars, hookers, blow, just kidding. If there's one thing a veteran spends money on, it's entertainment. I assure you, there's no better entertainment for the post 9-11 veteran community than Vet TV. You might know me from my best-selling book, from my nonprofit Irreverent Warriors, from the Silky Psych, which I created with one of my sergeants, from my videos about life in the Marine Corps, my speeches on suicide prevention, or my stand-up comedy tour that has at least five people walk out in the first five minutes. All of you know that everything I've done in the last year and a half since my buddy fucking smoked himself has been with one intention, to use humor and camaraderie to bring veterans together to heal the mental wounds of war to prevent veteran suicide. Veterans use humor to cope with pain and tragedy. It's an instinct. So the logic here is simple. If we can start by laughing at some of our experiences, we can acknowledge some of the things that make us fucked up in the head. And that's the first step in the healing process. But because we're all fucking twisted, it starts with humor. Highly irreverent, offensive, belligerent, beautiful, dark humor. That's how we deal with shit. Civilians, subscribe to Vet TV to take a peek into our world, to see the gritty and often hilarious reality of our experiences both in the military and out. Don't expect anything here to be professional nor honorable. Don't expect us to represent the US military the way the commercials want us to. We made our sacrifice. We don't owe anyone shit. If you want to make this streaming TV network a reality, donate and share. Take a look at our rewards. You're guaranteed to find something you like. One day the price of this subscription will go up. But if you donate $25 or more to this campaign, you are locked in at $5 forever. For those of you who write or act or do anything in the film industry, you better donate because we've got jobs for you. This is it. We're really doing this. See you on Bet TV.